Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to solve the given quadratic equation by completing the square. So the very first step is to make sure that uh, we have only x variables on the left hand side. That means this positive 5 must go on the right hand side. So I'm gonna put minus 5 on both sides. So this negative and positive 5 they are gone. So we ended up with 4x square plus 3x equal to negative 5. So the next step is we want to make sure that we have, we must have a leading coefficient must be 1. And we can see over here it is 4. So we're going to divide this one by 4. If you divide this one by 4, you must divide across the board each and every term. All right. So what we got is 4 over 4 becomes simply 1x squared plus 3 over 4x equal to negative 5 over 4. So the next thing what I want you to just look at the coefficient of x which is 3 over 4. Don't worry about this sign positive sign. We are just interested in 3 over 4. I want you to put it somewhere here. 3 over 4. Now I want you to divide it by 2. Dividing by 2 is same as multiplying by 1 over 2. So far so good. So if you do this thing on the top 3 times 1 is 3 divided by 4 times 2 at the bottom is 8. So far so good. And the next thing what I want you to do is whatever you got this thing you must square it. So whatever this quantity we got, we're going to add it on the both sides of this equation. Let's go ahead and take care of that step. So I'm going to put down x squared plus 3 over 4x plus, and then I want you to put down negative 5 over 4 plus. Now I want you to put down this 3 over 8 square on this side and 3 over 8 square on this side as well. Now look at the left hand side over here in this box. This represents a complete square of x plus 3 over 8 square. And now you might be wondering where this these numbers came from. This x came over, it showed up over here. This 3 over 8 showed up over here. And this whatever positive sign, this showed up over here. And this is equal to, just go ahead and take care of this thing. This is negative 5 over 4. And when you square this thing, that's going to become 9 over 64. Now let's go ahead and take care of this one. This, These two fractions, we're going to, I want you to put it somewhere here. So I put down these two fractions right up here, negative 5 over 4 plus uh, 9 over 64. And look at these denominators. One is 4, the other one is 64. We want to make the same denominator. So we're going to make this for 64 by multiplying and dividing by 16. So if you multiply and divide by 16, the top become negative 16 times 5 is 80 over 64 plus 9 over 64. Since we got the same denominator, you just put it once. Negative 80 plus 9 turns out to be a negative 71 over 64. So I'm going to go ahead and put down 
this thing over here negative 71 over 64 and on the left hand side we have a x plus 3 over 8 square now we want to solve for x we want to undo this square so we're going to take the square uh, square root on both sides take the square root on this side and take the square root on this side as well so now over here as you can see this this square and square root they undo each other so we got x plus 3 over 8 turns out to be a positive or negative and here i can split it up i can put square root of negative 71 over square root of 64 and now one more thing whenever you have a negative sign inside this radicals you have to be real really careful and we know that the over here i put down whenever you have a square root of negative one equals to i where i is an imaginary number so i can write this one as positive or negative this whenever negative sign inside this radical converts into i times square root of 71 divided by the square root of uh, 64 which is a complete square it makes 8 and on this side it is x plus 3 over 8 now I want you to move this positive 3 over 8 on the other side so this turns out to be negative 3 over 8 plus r minus i times square root of 71 over 8 so far so good so thus our solution turns out to be when you split positive and negative sign we got two solutions and then our solution set is right up here and make sure since there's a i imaginary numbers are involved we call them a complex numbers so these are not a real number so we have a no real solution for this quadratic equation thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos